The Marvel Universe continues to expand, this time with an animated series, Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, taking place on Manhattan's Lower East Side. It features Marvel's first African-American teenage girl superhero. She, along with a dinosaur and her bestie, are taking on New York City's supervillains. And voicing the powerhouse of a character, Casey, is an actress known for shows such as Sneaky Pete, Parenthood, and Colony. Lee Bay Barrere is here in studio. So good to see you, Lee Bay. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, okay, so Marvel Universe has to be pretty awesome. What was yeah. like in that call? Really cool and crazy, yeah. <laughs> I um, I remember auditioning for it, and uh, I, it was at a time that I was like, I think I had been doing a, lot of, a bunch of voiceover auditions, and like, you know, you get like so many at the same time, and I remember reading it, and I was like, man, this is so cool. They don't want me. They're going to get some, like, celebrity. And I remember I, like, sort of sent in something that was, like, I, I don't even think I set up my whole voiceover recording thing, and yeah. I, like, recorded yeah. on my computer, and my agent at the time was like, she, I got a call and was like, hey, you know, your read for this was actually really good, but, like, the quality is terrible. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't even think I edited it. And she was like, come into the studio, I'll work with you. And um, I did, and I was really grateful for that. And, yeah, um, yeah got the calls from there. And well, man, the series just started, what, two weeks ago? And mm -hmm. you're already being called back for a second season? Yeah. Unbelievable. What's that like, to see so much fan base already building for you and your show. It's amazing. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, it's it's funny because we recorded the first season in the depths of lockdown, like in our closets, right. and mm -hmm. it's it's felt, it, from the beginning, it felt very much like, you know, almost like an indie movie. Like, it was such a labor of love all around. And, um, you know, we, every time we would record, the creators would be like, oh, we have this thing coming up, and we have this, you know, mm -hmm. and, and so it felt like a small indie thing. And now to see it, like, you know, we're at Disneyland at a parade, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> and, like, watching the way it's been received, it's crazy. And so exciting. And yeah, I mean, this, this is a power, powerhouse, Disney and Marvel. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about your character, Casey. We'll play a clip and then talk about it. Mm. No client of mine is going out like client. that. Client. Full service management and public relations. I can turn you into the most beloved superheroes in the world. I'm talking digital marketing, viral videos, personal appearances, merchandising opportunities. This lab is going to make a great play set. What set? I've been told I can be a bit much, but honestly, I don't see it. Look, <laughs> you're gonna inspire Well, tell us a little about Casey, because you're certainly not lacking in energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Casey is um, Lunella's best friend and eventually becomes her, like, manager and publicist, and she's sort of the first person who sees Lunella as, or sees Moon Girl as a superhero, and um, she, you know, I think that they have, like, this really beautiful, very real female friendship that, like, really shows what, you know, that sort of, like, awkward time at 13 years old when you yeah. really learn how to be a friend in a real way and um, she's also like a social media maven and she's super tech savvy and um, she's the one who sort of brands like Lunella as moon girl yeah. and um, yeah. That's you awesome. were talking about how you thought a big name some huge <laughs> big celebrity was going to get your role but uh -huh. you're working with some big names. I'm looking at this list here and my mind is blown. <laughs> Jennifer yeah. Hudson, Andy Cohen, Wesley Snipes, Alison Brie, Method Man. I mean, God, the list goes on and on. I mean, what was that like? And plus, I think there's some mm -hmm. big name producers also working on this show. Yeah, Lawrence Fishburne is executive wow. producer. And yeah, who he's wonderful and um, has, yeah, and he's also, he does a voice on the show that's like mm -hmm. an amazing, one of my favorite characters, The Beyonder. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't know, yeah, I mean, I didn't get the, like, as far as the guest stars and stuff, you know, it's funny, we record we record separately mostly. Diamond and I, who play Moon Girl, she and I record most of our stuff together. But um, it's cool though, because then you watch the episodes and you see, I'm like, oh, it's I'm like talking to Jennifer Hudson. Right. <laughs> like, right, yeah. right. How so, does that kind of work? Yeah. Like, you know, because when you're when you're acting not in, mm -hmm. you know, just recording your voice, you're obviously with your cast of characters. What's it like to do it by yourself? Um, it's, you know, it's like pure make-believe. You're yeah. like in your closet. I mean, yeah, we were doing this in the closet or like, you know, once we're back in, the once we got back in the studio, we're in the studio and, um, you get to be a little kid. You get to yeah. be like, I'm jumping from like New York City building to New York yeah. City building and like dinosaur stop. Yeah. And like, you just get to like play make-believe like a kid. Yeah. But That's yeah, cool. Diamond and I record most of our stuff together though. So yeah. there's like that real dynamic too, right. which is fun. You right. know, what, what I also love about this show is you talk about some topics that are really top of mind and making headlines, et cetera. I mean, you talk about transgender mm -hmm. um, youth and, and a lot of things like that. So how important do you feel like that has been in bringing popularity to your show? 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's super important, and I think that it's handled really well. I think that, you know, the writer's room right now is all female, and it's, like, and it's mm -hmm. very diverse um, and, and all, like, in all in every way and I think that um, you know it's there, there's like lots of conversations that go on behind the scenes about all of the topics yeah. that um, that are depicted and you know and I think that it's done in a really in like in a really good way I think that it's like it does it never feels preachy it's done through yeah. like good stories and like so people who you know you don't you don't sit down and you feel like you're getting like a yeah. lesson like you're just watching this great story and like that's fun and there's great music and you know and the art is amazing and like also taking, you know, like they're talking about these very real important things. Yeah, the normalization of it all. Totally. You know, played out, right? Uh, <clears throat> and the backdrop is Lower East Side, mm -hmm. right? So hello, Lower East Side. Yeah. Uh, did you have you spent? <laughs> did you have to go down there? What have you learned about the Lower East Side? So I live in the Lower East Side. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, there you go. Perfect. Now you do. But yeah. you're from California, right? I am, yeah. And I was living in, when I got the part, I was living in Fort Greene in Brooklyn. And, um, and then I, yeah, and then I, I like, I, when everything was locked down, I like really missed the city, and I was mm. like, I was like, I'm finding a place in the city, and I moved to the Lower East Side, and I remember the first time that we recorded, and I was like, I moved to the Lower East Side, and oh. like, did you do that for research? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, that That's was, awesome. Pretty fun, right? Yeah. Like looking at different parts of that of that neighborhood and saying, yeah, I conquered. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, what's been the your favorite part about living here in the city then? Oh my God, so much. I love the access. I love the. You know, it's funny. I moved here when working on a TV show, and I and that and I had like I. I was from LA and I was I you know most of the stuff I'd worked on was out there and I was like I used to say that my favorite thing is like you know you're on set and it's this like cushy island and then you like get dropped off and you can be like you know and then you like almost get run over by a cab and you're like yelled at <laughs> and I'm like god I love it here I'm a full person <laughs> wait so lived uh, born in LA mm -hmm. studied at UCLA currently live in New York City which coast is better Definitely this one. There you go. Definitely. Did you just saying that because we're here? No, 100%. I'm never <laughs> moving back to LA. Really? I'm like, I guess don't hold me to that. <laughs> How's your family feel about that? They hate it. They're yeah. trying to get me back. But I guess in this business, like, I could very well, you know. And there are things that I like right about now. LA. Yeah, yeah there, there are good things there. Um, I think it's also just, <laughs> you know, when burgers, you're from right. a place. And, yeah. 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 Good but things, in and out. So Burger. great to meet you. So and I'm meet looking you. forward to watching your star rise because we can tell that's that's really going to happen very soon. Yes. yes. All right, Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur airs on Disney Channel and is also streaming on Disney, so be sure to check it out.